The other day we went to the uh, Lidl and I saw this uh, Silvercrest kitchen tools uh, kitchen scale which is uh, up to five kilogram as precision and the batteries included three years warranties color black gold the other colors were just too weird so the only option which looked a little less weird was this golden one I got it for I think five pound or six pound I have to look at my notes but anyway that's it we have it now here and uh, I'm going to unbox it now and see how it is. It looks elegant. Anyway, let us open it. I have to pull out this tab. I've removed the or cut the plastic thingy. Let me do it by both hands. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now let's see what is inside it. Kitchen scale. Oh, elegant. Oozes quality. Is a booklet even comes with it? So that's a nice touch. So you can refer to it and see how it operates. So there is a battery compartment, you put the battery in and that's it, it works. And it's in many languages, which include uh, English, French, Deutsch, then Danish and Dutch. Okay, that's the actual thing coming safely and neatly inside a, a protective cardboard case. I'll remove it from there. That's a cardboard case. I'll put it aside. Then the actual scale itself is inside this beautiful, lovely plastic bag here. That's the scale. Oh, so nice. Okay, you have to remove that tab, and when you do this, the scale will go. But just let me take a few pictures of it. So, on. When you touch it, it comes on. You have to press with a pressure of 250 grams. Please remove before use. Okay, I remove before use. But first, removing this tab is important. Will it come out or I have to remove that thing and put it up? Just let me see. For removing this tab, uh, which I'll just use a flash to show you, I have to unscrew this screw and pull it out. So this is the screw that I wear and I do it now. The screw is out. Make sure it's not. Uh, so, aha! Uh -huh. First, the tab has to be removed. Now the tab is removed. And press the battery in place. Put this back. By the way, what battery it is? Just for the sake of record. That is CR2032E. Is a Mitsubishi battery. Okay, now we close this. I have to use both hands to close. I have put the screw back and I turn it over. Remove this label. So you have to touch this surface. Oh, already working. So you make a zero with this. Okay, that's zero now. And 
the unit I want it not be in gram okay now what to measure okay I have an eyepiece I put it on this to measure okay this is the eyepiece I remove it now and measure the weight of the eyepiece This is a wide angle eyepiece Moonfish So It's zero I'm not putting it on this 419 grams So this eyepiece Is 419 grams It's a two inch eyepiece and as you can see, it's quite nice. It's one of my better eyepieces, 32 millimeter. And 419 gram, slightly less than a pound in imperial units. And I can measure a small eyepiece, something like this unbranded plus hole. It's a 40 millimeter unbranded plus hole. Is zero again, went zero on its own. I'll put it back. The weight of this eyepiece is 98 grams. Lovely measure, measuring scale, and now we have it. And Susan, are you happy to have this? Yes, I'm very happy. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It's very handy, we can use it for different things. Yeah, we had one which was from Argos, I think, about it. Was, it had a you could proper measure volume and weight with that, yeah, something like a jar. But this one is just for putting things on it, so you have to have a vessel or measuring odd things, yeah. And yeah, I can measure the weight of this book 241, less than that eyepiece. And we have a chicken here. I can measure the weight of these chicken alarms, 64 grams. So any odd object you could not measure with that jug one, you can measure here easy.